What's up everyone, Jake here and Jake's Aviation back with another model unboxing and review video this time with the Gemini Jets Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. Super excited to have this model um, even though it's a relatively boring livery. I mean it's unique but it's kind of basic. Um, but i um, excited to have this nonetheless. It's a new airline for my collection actually surprisingly even though I'm from the Caribbean, I mean Cayman Islands, I've got Cayman Airways models, but I don't have any Caribbean Airlines aircraft. I missed out when the Dash 800s are released by, I think, Phoenix, um, just the 737 8NGs, which really aren't in the fleet for Caribbean Airlines anymore. They've been replaced by all these Maxes. I've got nine of them, eight of which are flying, one parked. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's get right on into it. Here's a box. This is one of the newer releases. I think this was what are we, um, one of the November, October, November releases. Uh, so I think it was October. Um, but yeah, anyway, super excited to have this model. Hopefully it's not uh, not messed up in any way. No, it's a Gemini Jets model. But uh, yeah, so classic box. There's the info and whatnot. Registration of this is 9Y-CAL, so 9 yankee dash Charlie Alpha Lima. Um, Caribbean Airlines is uh, like registered a lot of their new Maxes based on like uh, kind of the abbreviations of the countries they fly to, but CAL is the only place that I'm not sure uh, what the abbreviation stands for, honestly. Which is, I've been looking it up trying to figure it out, and I'm, I'm not sure, so probably gonna seem kind of silly uh, not knowing what it is because I mean, like, have um, Bahamas. Barbados, they got um, Grenada, and then like the abbreviations, so like GRN, Suriname, SUR, they got various abbreviations for like the last three of the reg that represent the different countries, but I don't know what Cal is, so, oh well. Anyways, here's the model, pulling it out here, looks good, so far so good. Yeah, all is intact, all is well. Um, Alright, not, not bad, not bad. It's a very unique model at that. Um, just like the look of it and everything. Honestly, the mold is not bad. I think uh, Gemini just this is actually like a improvement. The wings aren't super flexed. The the nose, well, the gear looks a little wonky here at the front. Maybe it just needs to be squeezed together. I don't know. Uh, seems a little spread apart there. But apart from that, like the height and everything is actually decent, I think. Um, hmm, anyway, alright, let's get into the detail then. Let's take a look at the model here though. That pink, uh, pinkish, like, purple, that like, color is really unique. It definitely stands out even though there's not a lot of it. You know, it's just the titles, the engines, and the splits. Um, but it stands out. And then the bird, uh, the hummingbird on the tail, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look closer look at it. The nose, not bad. Uh, the gear looking pretty good, you know, higher kind of raised nose gear like the Max has. Cal on the nose gear doors there, L1 door looking pretty good, some good detail around there and whatnot. Got the static ports and stuff like that right there. Caribbean titles, just no Caribbean Airlines, just Caribbean. That's it. Um, so it's a little, little interesting, a little different. And just kind of moving along, got the nice uh, Leap One, Leap One, whatever it is, engines, I think 1B, uh, engines, honestly it says inside here, so, yeah, Leap 1B, the CFMs, um, looking really nice, some good details there, uh, taking a look at it, they're not actually, they're not bent up or rocket ship, which is nice, they're all, they're both mounted correctly, looking good, and then you got the splits, nice and pinkish purple, Looks pretty good. The wings aren't really super flex, which is nice. Got a good shape to them. Overwing exits. There's two of them right there, and then you got the antenna at the top. Let me just a little marking right there, and you got the overwing exit markings on the wing. Good detail there on the wing as well. Moving along, nothing much more to show other than Boeing 737-8, and then the registration 9Y Cal. There's not even like a flag or anything, just the registration and Boeing 737-8, which. There's been a common occurrence nowadays where they're just tending to leave out the max bar and just doing uh, 73 uh, dash 8. Not 800, just dash 8. And you got that nice um, hummingbird there on the tail looking really, really nice. 
I think it looks it's pretty unique. Uh, some markings there. Uh, not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a paint chip or not, but there was a little bit of dirt there on the tail, so I cleaned that off there. Anyway, looking really nice. Love the colors. It's, it's kind of it's interesting. It's definitely unique. Um, I think they could have done more. They could, like delivery Caribbean Airlines could have done more in terms of at, like stuff on the fuselage. Um, as you know, there's a lot to show when it comes from when it comes to the Caribbean. There's a there's a lot that they could display, you know, to show it off, to show what Caribbean's about, especially like Trinidad and Tobago, the culture and everything. Um, but any, you know, it is what it is. It'd be kind of nice if, say, like each aircraft based on the registration was kind of decorated per, like a special per the country that they fly to. I mean, yeah, they're based out of Trinidad. And Tobago, but they're kind of all across the Caribbean, like, and got a big presence in Jamaica as well. But you know, kind of representing the islands that they fly to would be kind of cool. Anyway, um, that's enough babbling about that. Here we go on this side. There's some other good details and whatnot. You got that uh, little two door there at the back, and whatnot. You got the baggage compartment, overwing exits again, and then you have the splits and the engines looking nice. Forward baggage door, Caribbean, and then L1 door and the other various details on this side. Take a look head on, not bad. The only thing I noticed that I could say that I could um, kind of pick on would be the nose gear right here, looking a little wide, kind of weird. Um, that could use some improvement. There's not much I can really do about it because it's not like the gear has to be pressed in. That's just how it is, but oh well. Anyway, we'll zoom out here. Uh, that's the wrong way. There we go. We'll take a look at the bottom. It's got Caribbean underneath. Uh, there's obviously the um, stand hole, which kind of takes out the A. Um, got the registration on the bottom of the wings there, but overall looking really nice. So that's kind of nice. That's unique. It's got the uh, underbelly art. And um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this model, as far as I can tell. Um, they, as I say, they got nine in the fleet, eight active right now, one parked. Uh, and it'll be curious to see if another one of these is ever re-released uh, with a different reg. You know, I think I would probably pick it up. I'm honestly hoping NG will kind of do a throwback and release um, one of the uh, Dash 800s. Some of them had just a plain white tail. Hopefully they will release one that had the actual like hummingbird that was green and like the actual like proper colors, like green, blue, whatever. It looked really nice. Um, because let's say, you know, I sure those aircraft are being retired now. They're not really, they're not flying in the Caribbean Airlines fleet. Uh, but nonetheless, it'd be nice to have them because I did see them in Cayman. I've seen them in Miami, Orlando, um, and Toronto. And they were, they were cool to see. And, you know, to throw back for like any retro model reports, like if I ever did Cayman, like a retro throwback, use the Dash 800. I don't know, Caribbean Airlines doesn't fly to Cayman right now. Um... And I don't fly to LA, so I I just kind of picked this up, picked this one up to have because it's Caribbean Airlines. Um, I, it's flown to Cayman before, not the Max, but hopefully they will return with their Kingston service and be using this, uh, which would be pretty cool. Anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna do it. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more mall unboxing and review videos. Smash that uh, like button and the subscribe button. Click that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more spotting videos, model videos, etc. And I hope you enjoyed. Take care, guys.